Hi everyone, this is Jeannie and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to come on real quick and say Happy Easter and just do a quick show and tell. I know it might not be an appropriate day to do something like this, but I'm, I'm going to just share with you a little bit of what's on my heart and a few things I'm doing while in the quarantine. So first thing I want to do is say thank you for this card from my sister it was a pretty little easter card and the most important thing in here was psalms 57 1 and i'll read it really quick it says have mercy on me O god have mercy i look to you for protection i will hide beneath the shadow of your wings until this violent storm is passed and it just really meant a lot to me to get this card from my sister. Thank you. I also wanted to share with you what I'm doing while in quarantine. <clears throat> I've never been able to make a doily before and I'm probably doing a terrible job. <laughs> but I'm trying to do a doily. I showed the beginning of this in one of my other videos. Um, but here it is, the very beginning it. I'm trying to figure out how to get it less poofy. Wait, my video is not being very cohesive. I wonder if it's because there's so much traffic on the internet. Anyhow, I am using a tiny little crochet hook, a cotton ball of thread, and I'm just going to keep going and I'll keep you updated on the length, the width. So I'm doing that. It takes a lot of patience. The other thing I wanted to share with you is there's a channel I've been watching called Meticulous Manicurist and I've really learned how to take good care of my toes, <clears throat> my own pedicure. Uh, the last time I went out and had a formal pedicure, I got a toe infection, and I almost went to the ER, um, but it cleared itself up on its own, and since then, it's like, you know, it hasn't, my toe has not been the same since, so she suggested the girl on meticulous manicurist, um, something that she sells, and it's called nail mycosis, by imperial feet and you're supposed to put a little bit on your infected area morning and night <clears throat> and then as your toenail grows out it goes away and it's all natural ingredients so it's nothing that will affect you know your liver or anything <laughs> the way some of the prescription pills do so I'm trying this, and so far, it's working. I've had it for almost a month, and I just do it in the morning and at night, and I'll keep you posted and let you know if it does go away. The other thing I wanted to share with you is this. It's hairy. My hairy brush. <laughs> um, this is by Care Me, and I got it on Amazon, and I use it to blow dry my hair. It's boar's head bristles and a wooden paddle and I really do like it. Usually when I blow out my hair um, the bristles kind of melt together but these haven't and I've used this maybe three or four different times and it's I really like how this is working. Sorry it's hairy. Another cute thing I wanted to show you is something I got at the Dollar Tree about a, a month before the quarantine. This is the cutest pillow. It's just soft, tiny, and perfect to go behind my back against a chair. I mean, it's so little. I can see how people wouldn't buy it, but it's just perfect. I found it, there were maybe six or seven i grabbed the most neutral color i could find and i have not seen these since but i love my little dollar tree pillow 
Another pillow I wanted to share with you is Voila. This is by Everlasting Comfort. I got it on Amazon and um, sometimes when I sleep at night, I put a pillow in between my knees um, so my bones don't touch each other. I don't know what, if that's normal. <laughs> that creepy feeling. So I bought this pillow. It's a knee pillow. And I, I don't use it every night because it, I forget about it sometimes. And sometimes I just don't need it. But the few times that I've used this, I can tell a really good difference. It's memory foam, it has a zipper here so you can wash this cover, but it's really comfortable. And it's also good to put behind your head when you're laying in bed watching TV. I love it. It's good for multiple reasons. So, oh, let me show you something outside purchase. You know, you do some weird shopping when you're in quarantine. I don't know if you can see this. Let me unplug it. Great, it doesn't unplug. Okay. This is a multiple plugger port, I guess, to charge different things. And for instance, I have this little Kindle that I plug in. I have my Fire Kindle, which I put here and plug in. And then I have my phone, which I plug in right there. Can you see that? And you can just, and it has a turn off and on switch. You can see it. It's just out of camera view. There we go. It's right here. It lights up. And it's very useful when you have multiple um, devices to plug in. And I keep this charge. I just I like to use my Kindle for reading playing games if I'm waiting in the car. I don't do that much anymore. But anyhow, those are my show and tell items I wanted to share with you. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful Easter. I know I am. Um, we watched a couple of church services online and uh, just being together with the immediate family here at home has been wonderful and um, I'm really getting a lot done. Oh, can I show you something else? As I was organizing and cleaning out my utility room, I got a, a bug bite. Mm, you can see that, it's so gross. It burns and it hurts. And I'm going to watch it. If it changes, I'll go to the emergency room. If I get red streaks, I'll go to the emergency room. If I get shortness of breath, I'll go to the emergency room. But otherwise, no. I'm just putting um, that Neosporin on it and spraying it with hydrogen peroxide. But I got a bite from cleaning out the very top areas of the utility room out it's part of the garage, so who knows what kind of bugs are lurking out there. Next time I'm going to wear gloves. Anyhow, something bit me. I didn't see it. I did not see it, but I'm kind of taking care of myself. So anyhow, I hope you guys have a great Easter. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you watch me, Please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, I'm trying to get my viewers up a little bit. I guess I need to be a little more professional. <laughs> so I'll try that. 
and um, it doesn't cost a penny for you to subscribe and you can even hit the bell to be notified of any other videos. Um, the favorite videos that I have to do are my organizing videos and I'm going to try to show you some of the things, the befores and afters of my videos of what I do around the house. Uh, this time of quarantine has really given me a lot of time to get organized. And I always say, for being for loving organization as much as I do, I feel like I'm the most unorganized person in the world. Therefore, I keep trying. I won't give up. I'm going to still try to be as organized as possible. Um, one reason I love to be organized is because you never lose anything. You know exactly where everything is. And before I went out to work, when my kids were in college, I decided to go and get a job to help with their school payments. And um, at that time when I worked, I, I mean, I just lost track of everything. So now that I've been retired for about five years now, four or five years, I'm trying to put my life back together again, the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> so, you know, I could just go on and on, but I digress. Have a wonderful Easter, everyone. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.